Check it out. We're now back into open session. We, uh, anybody outside or online? We're talking about the city manager process. So we're talking about our next steps. Um, looking at interviews. Um, one thing you had, bought, had talked about interviews, Bob, is is there a way? Is there a way like where staff meets kind of an in, a little bit informally? Just kind of talk. There's some set kind of questions that they get, and then then they they give us our observations, and then we do that interview later in the day. So it's more they're not sitting here really doing the same question, but it's more yes. speaking. They might ask, "Hey, show me, tell me a situation. What would you do in this?" You know, and then they can give us their observation later. Sure, there's different options for that. You can have a panel uh, with it has some staff on it, say the senior staff. You can also have a a reception, if you will, away from what I'll call the, the community reception. If you want to have employees meet and greet the change as well, get their observations from that. And you can you can ask for there's you've got um, cards that are made up that says, you know, what did you observe on the candidates? And you can read those uh, later on. So you can, that's an, one option. The other option is obviously have representatives from the employee group along with the senior staff to kind of There's different ways to do it. Uh, there's also, you, you wouldn't want to necessarily ask the staff. Or employees to expect to come out to a community reception, for instance, when they get there. That's going to be off work time and after the change, especially about living in the offer that option. I will I strongly encourage you, recommend that you should have some type of participation from staff, one way or another. Mm -hmm. That's the buy in in that issue. That's it makes a difference. Same with your committees or commissions you have of volunteers who sit on your boards and commissions, both offering uh, reception to the community by the meet the community. Somewhere along the line, you have to provide for input from, uh, on candidates for city manager. So what, what, where that will be and when and how it'll. How it'll like in a meeting, they get public comment. Yes. They, have, they don't need to be in the interview process. That's correct, but they have to have some exposure to the candidate. So they'll know a week ahead who they are so they can do their research. Right. We, we can release the, the resumes of the candidates that you can show them the cover letter. You make that public. Uh, those are the only two things that are really our public information. They can they can get product conclusions from that. But I would encourage a reception. I have a few assumptions. Or I was just going to say if it's a business, a local business. They want to host like meet I the candidates. I would even. love to show them OMEC, but when would that be? You know, there's so much rooms there and even PCC you could in the conference room you could meet and um, we have a lot of our meetings there. I want to support a local business and have them show up and say hey like that too but I like the, the staff where the staff kind of meets and greet. Okay. It's also, it's also uh, it all really depends on the community and like I said you know them best but I had a search uh, I think it was Canby where they invited the chamber uh, commerce President, but also the executive director. They invited the superintendent. They invited the local hospital administrator. They invited the key stakeholders in the community. Sometimes they're interested, sometimes they're not. But you can also invite other members of the community that you feel have more council members, for instance, that you can buy and trust. And um, a series of uh, throw out ideas or recommendations. Like you're, if we do two a day over a two day period type of a thing, I don't have any finalists we have. Um, you could do, you know, an hour meeting greet with the staff, and they could go into an interview in, in the afternoon, eat, do that, and have a, a meet. And it's this for the public comment. It's not necessarily a meet and greet, right? This the people aren't there. Yeah. So I think what I'm hearing um, Bob suggest is that you have have us as a body that's interview. And you have more of a um, meet and greet, sort of get to know the candidates, staff, do some assessing their observations. Then the second, the third bucket would be um, like a community mixer. With the candidate. With the candidates, mm -hmm. correct. And they're able to do observation cards. You ever have two candidates together? I, you would have yeah. them all in the same room. OK, so that's one. Yeah, okay. yeah the community like mixer, hands, yeah, alcohol, I was gonna say we, or you could do a one drink. Menu. But either way, like it's you invite the people, they come. It's a social environment. So then they're able to do observation cards and provide that back to 
GMP. Then you want a casual, do not want a formal setting for staff because staff is not interviewing their future boss. They're getting to know candidates and able to assessment. So I think you want a casual, um, a semi-casual environment, right? It's not like a formal sit down where it's like. How many people would you think would be a good amount? Are we talking the fire chief? A few staff, you know, high level staff and a couple. With a few community. Yeah, we're doing it in a public place. Why don't we just invite? Are we doing it in a public place? Like well, a restaurant or? Or the community, the community mixer? Yeah. Yeah, the uh, community uh, mixer, like in a. Have it at an auditorium. Uh, you oh. have it at a, a gymnasium. Mm -hmm. uh, we also have a farmer's if market. We, if you did a Thursday, let's say Wednesday, Thursday, so don't have to mess with Friday, but Wednesday, there's the staff, stakeholder, then later, another hour of the interview. Then that night, all four candidates come to a, the dinner, you know, together. The next day, the other two go through those other processes. I don't encourage them all. We take them all through at yeah. the same time, and they end. So do all the community engagement, all of that, the stakeholders, they all meet with the candidates first round. I For think us? we should, yes. Yes. Because we should be the final interviewers. After we getting all the feedback. all of the observation inputs as well. So that gives like us time to prepare. Tuesday night mixer, Wednesday, two different interviews, Thursday, two more interviews. Unless we think we can do them all in one We need day. to do it in two days. Yeah. yeah. So a night and the next day. <laughs> Uh, you, you could yeah, you could have, bring him in on an afternoon. You could either do the yeah, I would suggest a tour of the community uh, with somebody who's knowledgeable. We can show him around. That person also could provide input. They would have that, and then have the reception, which I'll call the mixer, would be uh, in the evening. So the folks who are obviously not available during the day could be there. Have the employees in the afternoon as well. They can have their little mixer someplace like here. Just so we, it's, everybody's got this opportunity to fill out a comment card. So we'll show those to the mayor and council during the, some period of the next day. The next day, then you would have the round robin. It, maybe it's two or three panels. You'd have each of those candidates go through the They've got, you know, we can help you with the questions, getting you know the candidates, but they're really going to make observations that they can then provide back to you folks. So as far as perceived strengths, also not so much the deficiencies, but where does that person going to need support? Hmm. They would be hired. Or where, where are some of their shortcomings? That, that will help you for when you want to make a, uh, I'll call it a work plan for that person. You should have when they start their work. You will say, okay, here's what we need to do. Here's our, how we're, we're, we're going to address as far as this uh, person's concerned for the you know, 6, 12, 18 months. Because you need to get them ready. They can perform so you can have an interview or excuse me, a review of their performance after six months. And then again, after one year and then annually after that. We would strongly encourage you to do that as well. So. Six months if we're if they're hired somewhere in June, you're talking end of the year, and then every end of the year. So I, I would think that uh, oh, they would come in, let's say uh, Wednesday afternoon, or they'd come in, the four candidates would come in. We would assign if, if one department head for each one, mm -hmm. uh, Lori for one, Dave for one, that kind of thing, to take them around and show them the city. Okay. Then you would pick a site, a decent site. To where we would have an open house for anybody in the community, and you'd have cookies and yeah. something. Sure. But but we would also send out letters to special people, the leaders in the community, the fire chief, I the school superintendent. We would invite them to the same one, but we'd give them a, like a, a personal invitation. Mm -hmm. So they're really included. <laughs> and then the next day, you begin the process of having panels. Uh, they have the panels. And I, I would strongly encourage that you not have just senior staff on one and community yeah. or community committees or board members on a second one and community members on a third. Mix them up. Yeah. So there's good observation from all sides. And you get a much better observation. There's multiple panels versus, ver, instead of staff and council. Yes. Or we can mix them up, but there's more than just two. There'd be air councils, one panel, and then I would encourage at least two more panels to have a, a combination of. Uh, Community members, uh, um, F committee. Those are all questions already pre-approved. You know, all written down, baked, fixed. So we all we'll we'll provide those uh, list of questions. Larry can uh, vet them for you folks. That if anyone you want to look at, we we've, we've been doing this for a long time. We, we we try to get ones that are more focused towards the community. That obviously we're 
if the staff's asking a question, they're just going to they they're going to give their observation. If we listen, it will be maybe public, or we'll get the recording. Right. We'll, we'll see but what the, their answer. The, you know, you'll uh, it'd be perhaps a setup in here where uh, you know, the uh, panels go through their their uh, interaction with the, with the, the uh, candidates, and they come back and they brief you. It's called about the strengths and the the. Uh, that you need to be aware of, make observations. Then you take that if you want to. Uh, if you don't want to interview them in the morning as part of the round robin, you can do that in the afternoon. But if you've got four candidates, do this in the morning, three panels plus yours. We are all interviewing at the same time, and you go into executive session. So it's going to take a little time in the afternoon to executive session. Uh, perhaps you'll do you think you can get through all four or three panels in a day? In the morning, is each one like a half hour panel? Would be um, more likely 45 minutes mm -hmm. than uh, have a little break in between there. You're going to want the there's going to be facilitators. You want them to uh, obviously get observations from the panel members after mm -hmm. each of the end of the interview. It's a good number in each panel. Six to seven. Yeah. Have uh, less than that. Anything more than that, there's not a lot of. Yeah, and but it's if you have three other week and trying to get, yeah, if you have three other panels besides the mayor and council, that's going to be you know fifteen to eighteen people, hmm. six each, and we're seven. It's with four. It's a, it's a little it's a little tougher. Brenda's mm -hmm. our subject matter expert in getting these things scheduled, but you can certainly do it in the morning if you uh, started at nine. You'd obviously have to you'd conclude by one o'clock, but then. So you would you have to have a break in there someplace, but then you could go into your, your afternoon session, executive session, maybe like two, two thirty, whatever right after that. So there's there's room for it. What day would this be? Are we talking Saturday week yeah. during the week? I was gonna say well, it have to be mid June so it can actually plan ahead to get vacation. Yeah, we need to June 11, 12, 13. Yeah, we're we're about yeah, roughly a little good. less than three right. weeks out to that those dates. Uh, that would be optimal. We couldn't go any less than that because we got to get background checks done, reference checks done. Mm -hmm. We'd also do this with within that amount of time. If you're okay with making a, you know, some type of a selecting a preferred candidate, not having all that work done. But I wouldn't encourage that now with Brenda. We'd prefer to have all that information to you, I'm not going back over these things. So Bob, do you incorporate like a like a personality assessment, say like DISC, to the final candidates? We haven't done those lately, but uh, you can do those if you like. It's always an option to do that. We also provide a more thorough uh, background check once you have a preferred candidate. We could, you know, you could right. actually maybe the mayor and a council member could accompany uh, one of our folks. We got, you know, a police chief who goes out and does some of these things. Who lost community where this person's at, talks more people. We don't necessarily encourage it, but uh, it, it is has been done by a number of cities who want to get more in depth about that candidate they're looking at. Well, I think I've worked with the disc. Well, there's many, but I, I work with that disc, and it's easier. It's easy to when you know what kind of personality you're working with, and then they are how to communicate or how they communicate with their right. uh, with right. their staff. I think it'll be very useful. I don't, it's not very expensive. It's like maybe five dollars for. Encourage it after you've got a preferred candidate and once the person starts, because it, it could be perceived as being um, a disadvantage to some. Because some of these folks, you know, they, they do these personality tests and you know, may or may not come out to be accurate. But also may influence your decision making process and they may not necessarily be the best candidate either. I mean, um, yeah. you know, June 12th is a Wednesday. Um, the following Wednesday is June 19th. And so we need to be pushed to the 20th. If we were to go that week, 2021st, Friday night, no. for any week that's a definite no. I say the week of the 10th to the 14th, I'm actually available like that. Very doable. You guys should start thinking that earlier week, and then then if we have to bump it because I mean we can virtually start the late week, uh, and if that ends up the 11th, I'm on vacation the week of the 17th of that week. Yeah, I'm so just, I'm gone. Week of the 10th. <laughs> I hear the week of the time. Okay, Mayor and Council, if we went through this checklist, yeah. we, uh, oh, okay. Uh, Brenda can record this and then we get it, yeah. let's see, get it all accurate. Go ahead, Brenda. 
but they have a copy. Okay. Perfect. They have a copy in front. Wonderful. Um, so let's discuss real quick the dates that we're looking. I know that we were just doing that. Are we thinking the 14th and 15th then? Uh, One of those no, the well, I was going to say, I thought you were out the 14th and 15th. Yes, I'm out. I was thinking the week prior, like the, the two. June? Yeah. Like, like week after 13th. Next. Yeah. I'm gone now. That week. Can't probably. Week of it. Saturday on. Mm -hmm. There's oh, one other counselor dates. who we have to consider as well. Andrew. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, 12th and 13th. Basically. 12th, the night of the 12th and all day on the 13th. That's probably what it actually comes. Yeah. I, so we're thinking the 12th and the 13th? Yes, yeah. the 12th and 13th. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, now, I do know through. we have another finals on the 12th. Bob, does that work for your schedule? Yes, I'll, I'll work it off with uh, the other client. They have not selected a date, so um, we didn't select one yesterday, so they'll have to see Wednesday. Let's say 11th, 12th, 13th Fine. work for me. Okay. And you 11th, 12th. They don't work for better. You. No, they do okay. work for me. Yeah. 11th, 12th, 13th, but it works fine for everybody else. I don't have that appointment, but I can move that appointment. Okay. So the 11th through the 13th works for everyone. Are we wanting to focus on the 12th and 13th then? No, 11th, uh, 11th, 11th and 12th. And 11th and 12th. And 12th. <laughs> Thank you. Perfect. So we're okay. On Tuesday and Wednesday now. Mm hmm. And now, as far as reimbursements go, um, we were talking about who was in town and who might need airfare. Is the city willing to cover the candidates' airfare, including one check bag? Do we need, do we need airfare? I thought everyone was the only one that may possibly, but it's going to be. I have to talk to the burger. He's uh, that's a long, long guy, but I think he'd be okay with it. So, where's he at? Is there an open session? Excuse me. He's in Stanfield. Whoops. Okay. That individual <clears throat> uh, could either drive it or fly it. At almost well, I would price. say yes, we would pay it if we had to. Well, do we have anybody online? Okay, we can probably make a correction. Yeah. Go back up. No, we're fine. Um, I apologize. We would pay the air if needed. <laughs> um if i mean if necessary it would not be it would just be a short hop right yeah and so. i don't call it longer so that, yeah the answer is yes okay. yeah. perfect what about for a spouse no okay um <clears throat> to are is the city going to reimburse mileage yes. tell us if it's yes. Yeah, is that normal yes, yes. Typical, yes. yeah, yeah. Okay. What about a car rental if a particular individual needs to have airfare? Yeah. Okay. Um, and how long are you willing to have that car rental for? That sounds right. Three days. Three days. Three I days. Even, I would even offer a car rental if someone would rather do that than get mileage, right? Sometimes it's cheaper. They said we'll charge for gas. Yeah. Yeah. Mileage or car rental. Yeah. Perfect. Did you catch that, Brenda? Yep. I think so. I think we said three days. Is that correct? Yep. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Wonderful. And then what about lodging, a hotel stay? Is the city going to pay for that or reimburse for that? Yes. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> Two nights. For how many nights? Two nights. Three? Two. 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 Perfect. And would you like the candidates to arrange their own accommodations? Or sometimes cities get discounts and other things, so they prefer to arrange those accommodations. No. We don't have discounts, so they can do their own. We would help them if needed. Susan said she'd be We don't have a hotel. <laughs> We don't even have a hotel in Chapman, so <laughs> they'll be in St. Helens. No, they can do their own. They can do their Perfect. own. Perfect. We'll have the candidates do it. Um, is there a form that they are going to need to submit for those reimbursements? Yes. yes. And do they need the receipts attached to those? Yes. And who should the candidates send those that information to? Susan. Susan. Who? Sorry. 
Susan Reeves, R E E V E S. Okay. Got it. And mark it important, please. <laughs> there goes the top of her inbox. <laughs> and then we the decided there is a and candidate people. reception, correct? Yes. Yeah. In, Do we have that, a budget for that? That's the, the uh, people invited is a list that we created. It's a private party. No. Mm -hmm. Open that's house for the community. We'll open and then we'll. That's our public. It's both. Yes. I, I would do both. Yeah. At the same same time. You, you broadcast it and, and shout out to me, but you also, Larry mentioned, I think it's a good idea. It's personal invite. invite. Yes. Individuals would like to see. Good idea. Do we have a budget for that? We'll have. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And then what, once we what, know the little people. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Yeah, nope, sorry I'm so sorry. What kind of numbers do we would have in that? What are you expecting? Are we bigger than a senior center? Are we, we don't have big places that you can yeah. eat. You can do a, a, maybe get the high school cafeteria and have someone cater it. Be a, be an example. We drove at 150. They were obviously very interested. But can be had about 60. Food cart, and if it's nice weather. I think, I think annual, like town meeting, like annual update. Yeah. It could maybe be. half. Your town meeting was was well attended. Uh, it's possible you might have that many people attend. Problem is, I got a. That's right at the end of the school year, and there's mm -hmm. no school. Yeah. Some actually. I mean, the senior center. You could sprinkle people throughout, right? Maybe if it's nice. And if you had it, like as a two to three hour thing, people could come for an hour and leave, and right, like it, it doesn't actually need to be like a full dinner or anything. It's, it's like cookies. It's, no. it's, yeah, yeah, it's, it's a like refreshments. It'll socialize. Be, it'd be you know starting at say six or six thirty. You you get everybody there, and about six thirty, I uh, the mayor would introduce everyone. Thank you for coming. And he'd introduce me. I'd, I'd introduce each of the candidates. They're going to speak for five minutes about who they are. You'll have the ming mingler again for another hour or so until we gotta kick the people out. Right. But yeah, then they gas me felt clock done. A couple hours. When do you start? Six to eight. We could play bingo. Um I'll I'll check with the senior center right away on Tuesday the eleventh. Say and it would be um I can ask them if they want to take care of the food and we pay them a little or we can take care of it. Like you said, it's just all because they do serve big lunches there every Wednesday and Friday. Sounds great. Um, let me know if that senior center doesn't end up working out, and then uh, I'll change that on our <clears> records. <throat> then, if um, and then we decided there would be an executive session after the interviews. Is that correct? Yes. After the panels, yes. Yes. So we're looking. That would be on the twelfth. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> yes. And then we are going to do a tour. Now, I know it was kind of tossed around about doing the tour on the 11th. Something you can consider, too, is the tour can actually run the same time as the panel interviews. So a lot of times people will have like three panels and then one of the candidates will actually be on a tour with a guy. And so it kind of runs at the same time. Um, that is something you can consider with a tour, so that way it doesn't. Um, Do you ever have two candidates together on a tour? Yeah, before. Yes. Mm. Is that awkward? Do the interesting part about that is if you have a person who's uh, yeah receptive, there's a lot of information. Or that person can hear a lot of information from the panic that's sitting there. Pick up with some of that as well. I would be like Dave in a tour of some of our facilities. Um, how would he then be in the panel without getting? I think Susan wants to be the tour bus guy. We could have two individuals on the tour, so we could do two candidates on a tour with one person from staff actually doing the highlights, and we could have another person with them as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. Their staff. Good. Yeah, have a driver as well. Good. Yeah. I mean, it, it, and Jake, but most we had Dave and. Well, and it's Brenda makes a good 45 point. minutes, right? Yeah. These tours are very yeah. quick, high level. Yeah, probably not get out of the car. Yeah. Brenda makes a good point. If you have uh, panels, the mayor and council, and then two others, maybe up to seven each, that way you can have, then you can have a tour out for the fourth slot. That would be good, actually. I like that because I was thinking trying to do four panels is going to be, a lot yeah. of people. I, I think it's too much. I think two panels can be in the city. Commissioners, all of that, two of those with us, that's three. 
do the tour that gives that four that really kind of rounds out. Yeah, I like that plan. I like that quite a bit. Each person has briefly a three hour day. They're overlapping kind of. Yeah, they rotate. If you're 40, yeah. Each panel's 45 and the tour's 45. That's 45, 45, 45, 45. Yeah. And then they're overlapping. So you need two places for interviews. Might overlap. So it's three yeah, places for interviews. Yeah. You have the, you'd have the mayor council in here and you have two other spots. Or wherever else you want to They take 15 minutes in between to travel and move. We use the library each yeah, time. If I need to reserve that here, library, uh, your center. I mean, not the historical society. Yeah, we could do that. That should be able to do those three. Yeah, yeah. Now, are these are uh, places within walking distance. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Good. Boom, boom. Good. Good. Right, right, right here. here. Excellent. Our boom, historical boom. house, library. And and we we don't have a fourth, so we couldn't have a. Fourth. That's actually be a tour. <laughs> what room would we use at the Watts house? Though? Right. You could use the. Yeah, yeah, that's what they use for their meetings. That would be that would be our smallest group. Of yeah, members. there's four interviewers, five interviewers. There's room in the in the around the. We'll mix Sorry. appropriately the the groups. So I heard the historical society, the library, and what was the third one? Council chambers. Council chambers. And then where would you like the candidates to meet for that tour? Where are they meeting their guide? We have meet them out right outside City Hall. Uh, the lobby. Yeah. Uh, lobby of City Hall? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Thank you. Um, and then when you know who the guide will be for that tour, go ahead and let me know, um, and we'll get that written in for our records. Definitely should ask. My, my gut is with Dave, but we should see it rather be in the conversation sessions or yeah someone like daryl may not care to be in there right like kevin turner may not need to be in they can drive them around mm -hmm. like you me. sort of identify who would be appropriate for the tour i i got a conflict because what you're talking about the the me the best one would be dave because Same. he's going to come back with input him and Lori, to me would be the top two to do it uh, that's where my head is too. But that's the problem we're... is, there should be an interview. they'll be on the panel or whatever. Yeah. They should be. They'll be there the night before too, but they should be talking to them. I want them to be able to give their observation. I like uh, their one-on-one -on -one observation. Right. Each one. Right. It's, it's much more. Tough. I'll see if Dave would be willing to not be in the this setting and do a one-on-one -on -one observation with each one individual. My best observations came from the tour guide. Yeah. What I want. Because one group will be there, one group will be here, one group guy will be here, one will be on the tour, and they'll just rotate through. What about Isaac? And maybe NJ? Help doing the tour. tour. Yeah. Maybe and someone with Dave that helps. Yeah. I was going to say yeah. Isaac and Dave on that. Driving. Yeah. So Isaac yeah. can focus on the driving and I like that. Talking and engaging. That's what to me, Lori would be so good. If Lori and Dave could do the tour. I thought we're trying to free Dave. Well, the, or. One of them. I don't. I don't think Dave's going to go into the panel. Yeah, Dave on the tour would be best because he gets one on one with each guy. Okay. Versus five of them. Mm -hmm. But I would ask him, give him and Lori, if Dave, if you want to be on the panel, we'll find someone. I'd give him first choice on driving. Lori second choice. Lori would probably like to be in the panel. And I, I would say if we could balance out the community development with NJ, so you've got like public works and community development in yeah. that interview, mm -hmm. like or in the a tour. Uh, tour. Yeah. yeah. If Dave does it, maybe we can make NJ the driver. Mm -hmm. Something like that. Right. Exactly. We can make it work. Where are we at, Brenda? Hosted lunch? The public works assistant. What was that, Bob? We on hosted lunch right now. Is that where we stopped? That's where we're at. Yes. So are, is the city going to have a hosted lunch for the panel members? I think we should. Yeah. We're at 9. It will be about noon, 1 o'clock. We'll have a lunch. Mm -hmm. yeah. They're here? I think well, they brought you know, in probably end up doing is having uh, 9, 10, 11. Then break for lunch and then do one more at one o'clock as far as the panels. Yeah. Well, if you have four, four yeah. interviews, if you will. Then uh, take a break and then say about 2 30 ish, then the mayor and council will begin the deliberation. You don't want to go to the food truck? Sure. Yeah, I think that we'll see great. if the food trucks are open. Um, we can, uh, I mean, we can, we'll cater, we'll get a lunch. That'd be great. Perfect. Okay. Are candidates uh, invited? Who? Two candidates. Candidates? Yeah. A lunch. lunch? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Sometimes Perfect. they, yeah, 
the uh, client likes to take that time to do the debriefing if they've got all the interviews done. Oh, I see what you're saying. It won't be done though, so that'll be okay. Yeah. I think it's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fourth one. Okay. This is just our lunch break. This is just a lunch break. I just want to make sure that we don't um, have talk past each other here real quick. Who's going to be scheduling the rooms to make sure that's done? You're doing okay. I just want to make sure we. They're going to do it themselves. Yeah, we'll let them, we'll give them. Some no, time. not the hotel rooms. Our conference rooms. The, yes, like, yeah. Okay. Oh, got it. Yeah. Okay. Susan and uh, Brenda can coordinate that. Perfect. Um, and then I know we were thinking about we're having three panels. Is that correct? So we know one is the mayor and council panel. Um, is the next one going to be made of staff? Is that going to be community? Or are they kind of a mix of both? A mix. Yeah, a mix. Perfect. Two panels that are mixed of staff and stakeholders. Stakeholders. Okay, perfect. And you're talking and we, five to six in each if possible. Wonderful. Okay. And then in each of these panels, we usually have a facilitator. Now, Bob is available to be a facilitator in one of these panels. Yes. Um, something to think about is who else you would want to have be a facilitator. Who else are you able to lend from your staff? <laughs> uh, Richard, may you be available? What about Isaac? I Isaac. think I would be for the 11th and 12th. Yeah. We, I'll, I'll, uh, Either Richard or I will be with Mayor Council. We've got uh, then we got me and Richard with one other panel. We've seen one other facilitator that really are. Let's what panel least needs a facilitator? Us, we are sure uh, they're too covered. And I'll then I'll sit with the Mayor Council though. Yeah. You don't need facilitation, I just need to be in there, and right? He needs to be in there. <laughs> yeah, you just need one other. <laughs> the staff would just like the staff would probably be the easiest, yeah. No, uh, they'll be mixed. Yeah, because that's right. I am confused over that. Just not that I want to. So you want staff and community members in you, you want them together, Indeed. but two panels. Yes. Yeah. So you want to mix of them. Yes. The two Eventually, panels. Three of each. Three. OK, no, that's I just, staff. I didn't, OK, yeah. so we're going to we're going to mix those up. When you say yeah. community, I, I guess I want to define that. Are we talking? We're talking stakeholders. So are we talking like uh, commissioners? Library, fire committees. Yeah. Okay. What about like uh, you know uh, Paul Vogel, uh, you know part of the EDC? Yeah. Or I'd write a list, and he would be on there somewhere. Yeah. I, I think we should put at the top and work our way down. You know, community yeah. um, uh, organizations that we that the city and engages with. Two other panels besides the mayor council. You can certainly expand it to seven. That's okay. Yeah. I've seen it as large as ten. That's just a little bit unwieldy. I would agree. Huh? Well, just wanted to find that. Gonna be if one staff is out driving and. It's just, you know, between five and seven. Yeah. And we definitely include the school system. Oh, yeah. Right, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but Superintendent? Superintendent? I would. Or a yeah. designee. Yeah. OMIC. That's how you normally put it together. OMIC. Yeah. Have new director, though, and they may. But somebody's interested in helping you. Yeah. They feel obligated to want to call, but then they're not really necessarily that engaged. Or to Columbia County, would I try to get one? County commissioner, just one. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Flip a coin and ask that person first. Yeah. Yeah. Casey's kind of a rep. You, you know the folks out here better than anybody, yeah. and I'm sure that they're going to be engaged. District. Do you have someone from our police department? It's true. Well, as far as absolutely on the staff, staff part of it. Yeah. Staff, okay. yeah, yeah, absolutely. PD, fire district. Yeah. I'd say on the, the actual list, like the ideation, do we, do we have to do the ideation in open or can we make our lists just like individually send to uh, Mayor Bacchus and start whittling it down that way? Because I worry if we just start naming names, we're going to be here a long while just yeah, right. going through yeah. all of our. Go ahead and I would say that's a great idea. Submit your, your suggestions to Mayor Backus, and he can work with uh, the council president or someone else and, and select you know seven per, per panel. Or you got the, the senior staff ready, then you just got to add to that. Yeah. And you come up with the difference there. Okay. Sounds good. Perfect. And then once you know who that third facilitator should be, to go ahead and just let me know so we have it for our records. So, um, and then we'll put the candidates in our list. and. 
do we have a specific date or are we going to be releasing the candidates names on a specific date? What do you recommend? What date should we rec It's all kind of based upon. Right. If, if you're going to have the reception 11th, I would encourage the week before. Stay on the 4th. We have a meeting June 3rd, Monday, and all goes well and nothing changes after that meeting. Uh, don't go out on the 4th. They could release, you could actually the release them on June 3rd. On June. Do you want to make sure you notify them? Absolutely, yes. Yeah, that, that, that gives me an idea. And I'll, I'll let them know based on the and date you give me tonight. After our meeting, no mm -hmm. That works. But I, when I call them, when I call them, I'll let them know that it's going to be June. Okay. Perfect. And do we, um, are you, is it simply just a matter of releasing the names or do we have to do short little bios on each of them? What's the best practice? Oh, you got that. So typically I'll write up the bios on them. If you're going to have any more information than bios, that's typically something that like a newspaper would do or the city says, this is what we want it. But I can write up the bios on each of the candidates. Perfect. So short bio sound. You'll have like a news yeah. release on the fourth, and it will have these dates, yes. uh, interviews, and it will have. Okay, you're going to write it all up. Fourth, we release our four candidates, and here's our. Okay. So the we paper comes out on Friday. Write up the bios. Mm -hmm. the, the paper oh. comes out on Friday, so it won't be in time for that particular Friday. Yeah, we'll release it, but you'll give us all the content in order. Okay. Yes. Tuesday. Bios, Tuesday and then Wednesday, we'll probably want to put in the schedule of the events that we're doing. Okay. And we can embargo it too. I do have, yeah, our spotlight paper like deadline might be really early Tuesday morning. So if something I can send to them Tuesday, then it goes in the Friday paper. Right. Yeah, well, Mayor, why don't you make? Oh, it's a week before, so we're. Can can we? Provide a go release on. to the newspaper and embargo it, just so you can't release it. You know, why don't you make it the third, so you'd actually release it at a council meeting? Then they're going to ask me about it, and then I'll talk about it. Okay. <laughs> no, I don't mind. I'm just trying to think of why wouldn't you? Just say, can not talk I, about it? <laughs> why wouldn't I announce it? I, I, do you guys like that? I. Well, it's just simply an announcement. We're not going to talk yeah. about the candidates. It's just these are the four candidates, and you want to do it as if it was on. Could announce the names on June 3rd and say the press release will be available the next morning. Next morning. Yeah, like just make sure that the agenda item is that. not discussion thereof. Or Susan, we get with the school district and we'll make big posters each one and we'll, and during the meeting, we'll pop a picture of each one of who we're finalists are. Just need a. Brenda, is it possible we could have, have this stuff ready by May 31st and then have the press Who's embargo name? candidates' names? Just Depends on how quickly they get back to us, but yeah, that should be just fine. Mm -hmm. A lot of their paper is online, so I mean, if, if whatever reason, if we don't, we'll go out yeah. immediately on their online stuff, and then. Yeah. Okay. I know I can have the bios ready by the thirty-first. And then, okay. do you send it to the paper? You send it to us, and we send it. We send it to you, and you send it. Susan, send it to. The one of you guys figure out how to do it. I don't know how to do this part. Will you have you just say what the release date is and then it can't be released. Will you have all the background information necessary by the 31st? Yeah. So we'll is have, there a we'll risk? Have the reference checks or the uh, we'll have them probably no, it won't be ready to the following Friday, probably, right, Brenda? Mm -hmm. Or is the background checks and the reference checks? It just depends per situation, per candidate. Majority of the time we have the criminal and education back fairly quickly. I'd say within about a week, week and a half. It's usually the references that are a little slower to get back because it really just depends on when the reference fills it out. So those can range anywhere between a couple of days to two or three weeks till we get those back. We can do though tonight since we know the candidates. I will make calls uh, starting tonight when I, when I start driving home. I'll also get tomorrow, but I'll let them know that Brenda can you send this stuff out tomorrow, Brenda, to them, or can the convert can her uh, company? We yeah, I can them. send it out to them tomorrow. Get it to them tomorrow, then they can start filling it in, and I'll remind them, hey, you know, time's of the essence here. That way, mm -hmm. you don't have to wait till next Tuesday or something. Yep, yeah, that sounds great. And the references get it, though, they, it's up to them to fill it out, and I'll remind the candidates and let them know that. You say yeah. then the backgrounds may not be done by the time the names are announced, the fourth? Backgrounds, I think Brenda said, should be okay. That and the criminal history checks should be done. 
the reference to education should be done by then. Yes. Yeah, education, that's what I meant. Thanks. Reference will take a little bit. Right. And then we got mm -hmm. some deliverables, Brenda. Oh. Perfect. And then as we continue to work through this process, yes. I was just going to check on one thing. As we continue through this process, if we have questions that come up with details, who should be the person that we contact first? Susan and Larry? Yeah. All right. Susan's our council. Yeah. yeah. Susan's our council secretary, so I'd say Susan. That's just to ensure that you folks obviously get the information disseminated. And it's been going well so far. So. I think so. Anything else, Brenda? Uh, I'm just going to double check. We're going to do confidential, not confidential packets, as well as I'm assuming for that uh, community reception, you want a comment card as well? Yes. yes. Perfect. And we know we're doing the bios, and we already talked about the suggested interview questions are coming. I believe that is all that I need on my side. And then I will have a, I'll work on a draft schedule for what finals will look like. And I should have that over to Larry on Tuesday at some point, and then he can distribute that to whoever needs to view that and kind of approve it. And of course we can always edit and make tweaks to that as needed. Then at the bottom of, the la of that third page, the top of the fourth page, there's got the my responsibilities too. I want to make sure we know what those. Mm. That's Susan. We'll, we'll work with that too as we go on here. We'll be close contact. What I'll do for the questions is I'll I'll draw them up. Three different uh, packets. One for mayor council, and then the other two would be the you know, panelist questions. And I'll put them into separate. Distribute the uh, questions equally amongst them, and then you can take a look at those. And anything else added to, we can do that. Take anything off, you can do that as well. So get that out to you in plenty of time for you to review it. I'll have to look because you're in a panel in the historical house, Watts House. You know, there's not a lot of room, but they're going to want to sit down and be able to take notes. And yes. so, if for some reason I'll look at it, if it doesn't seem like it will fit, we library might have two rooms. Okay. The CDC could handle some. Yeah. Ten people in there pretty easy. Yeah, there's the small meeting room. Cathedral. I mean, ensure that it's some privacy there. Yeah, you know, okay. But you also make sure you got enough table room and you got access to restrooms. That's a right. Yeah. Watts House, they can kind of spill from the dining room to the. Yeah, the there they, we we have our board meetings. There, are, you know, people are in seats and then there's the table. Um. Excellent process you folks went through. I really come. Uh, you confident? <laughs> you confident? So confident? Good. Sure, very confident. I really like the process, and you folks are much. You're just saying that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and I also don't say you're my most important client tonight. Yeah. I don't do that. No. <laughs> the check cleared. Yeah. Yeah. I feel. Yeah. I feel good. Thank you. Yeah. Cool. Again, good. Good list of candidates as well. It's good. We'll, we'll destroy these. Um, Make sure they get shredded. So right. we'll do that. Thank you. Appreciate your cooperation as well. I understand there's still a, one other council already. I'm someone needs to that that person will be contacted and mm -hmm. and the notes he gave me that I said he he listed a few and and it it fits with what he said too. Um. So it, can I kind of take out the ones that aren't you think and shred them and keep these so I have information going forward. Yeah. Yeah. And if we pop any more up, you'll give us. You got absolutely okay. your packets to do what you wish. Absolutely. That's everything I have. Anything else? Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Brenda. Thank you guys. Thanks, Thank Brenda. You. Thank you. Richard. Thank you, Brenda. Meeting adjourned. Oh. Now we're going back into executive session. I got should I read this for City of Scappoos will now meet in executive session for the purpose of ORS 192660-2-D um, for labor negotiations. Representatives of the news media and designated staff shall be allowed to attend the executive session. All other members of the audience are asked to leave the room. Representatives of the news media are specifically directed not to report on any of the deliberations during the executive session except to state the general subject 
of the session as previously announced. No decision may be made in the executive session. At the end of the executive session, we will return to open session and welcome the audience back into.